Jesus. All right, guys, welcome back to our modded Oblivion playthrough. So I, um, I just got COVID. I'm getting over COVID. Why? Well, I, I tested on Monday and I did the at-home test and it said I had COVID. So I thought I was going to be able to escape it forever, but I guess not. So that's where I've kind of been somewhat. And if I still sound horrible, it's because of the COVID. So regardless, uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing much better and hopefully my voice isn't too abhorrent to listen to. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Yes, you want to join my party? Sorry. Oh, okay. Anyway, we're going to be doing the lifting the veil quest. So I, I did play a little bit without you. I know, surprise, surprise. I did it again. And essentially, this is the quest where, where, where once you're in Bruma, if you do a few quests and the Countess, you know, hears about you, then Narina Caravain, who's the Countess of Bruma, will uh, send her... Or her slab of meat to go um, to come talk to you, tell you to come over there and help her out, and then uh, she tells you, "Hey, um, you know, this is what you got to do." So, so I did a little bit of it, and I discovered this place. If you want to read this and pause it, that's fine. The current part of the quest I'm, I'm at, Countess Carvain has told me that her scouts have already located the first landmark mentioned in the diary, Dragon Claw Rock. It's been marked on my map, so I should begin the journey from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Also, I did change up my armor before we do anything, by the way. I I changed out my cavern guide gauntlets because the light was just annoying me. As useful as they were, they were somewhat annoying. So I do want to start getting into more of a uh, light armor. So I believe these this golden bronze helmet is basically just a uh, mithra helmet that's been... Well, it's bronze... But it's light armor, as you can see. I got these gauntlets of rapidity, which basically make me quack quicker. Quacker. And they're pretty cool. I think they're like three textured elven gauntlets, but regardless, they're really, really cool. And I do have these fortify magica pants that are basically just leather pants that give me more smartness. So that's always cool. And then I do have this. I don't know if I had this last time, but Found a new mace to use to get up our blunt. We're already in apprentice level at blunt, so we can use some more blunt weapons, but this thought it'd be nice to have. Anyway, um, we're going to be going to Dragon Claw Rock, which we have already discovered, which is very nice. And hopefully there won't be any enemies when we spawn right away, because... And there are. Oh, he's got a disease. No. Ugh. Oh, also, I don't know if I... I don't know if I mentioned this last... I, mean, I, did, I don't think it... Yeah, okay. Anyway, so I did install a new mod that does uh, change the effects of, like, Magicka and weapon enchantments. Um, it's it's more, like, subtle. Except for this one. <laughs> except for the fire enchantment, obviously. Apparently in this mod, it makes it really... Personally, I do like it more. It does make it... Um, more fantasy-esque in a way more I don't know how to explain it but like if I can show you guys basically if I were to like shoot a fireball it's fireball well I mean it's a fireball so it's not really gonna if I use my staff here actually the staff would probably be a better the projectiles I don't know if you can see it's like a smaller red blurb that's a, f this is a drain health weapon, so it's going to give like red particle effects. It'll be different for like frost and um, lightning electric enchant weapons, but we will uh, go to, s oh, okay, uh, all I had to do was go back to it. All right, so uh, we're going to see more of that, especially when it comes to other magic being used. All right. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, I forgot which one it was. I forgot which one. <laughs> which one it was. Log? Oh, here we go. Okay. So we go west to find the statue, and then north to... The door. Okay. 
And that was from the, the toes. So we have to go this way. Yeah, I remember now. That statue should be... Yep, here it is. The Sentinel. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I've reached a second landmark, the Sentinel. I should consult the Messenger's Diary once again to discern. Yeah, I already know. Let's check if there's nothing already here. Okay. Oof. Oh. The hell was it? What the hell? The hell is that sound? Oh. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a freaking mystical amp. <laughs> Kill it. Kill it. Oof. Thank you, orc zombie. Oh. I don't know if my reaction time is just lower or the fact that it was invisible was so hard to see, but I just. Yeah, I feel like garbage. Oh, oh no. It's a warder zog. Hey, I would appreciate some support. Really? God, this thing's enormous. Also, I, I am using the uh, summon order sword because I do want to increase my blade, but I also didn't want to have to carry the sword, um, my original sword around. Harbinger of the First Snow. I found the third landmark, the Serpent's Trail, which seems to be an underground passage. I'll need to traverse this passage if I'm to find the ruins. Yeah, basically, I just didn't want to have to carry it anymore. Oh, shit. Okay. But I am happy to be back doing this. It's... It was weird getting COVID, I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. Yeah, the effects that you see, the, the little green disease effects are an example of one of the effects that's different. I mean, I think it's pretty much every every effect in the game that's been changed. Oh, <gasps> Star Rim, yes. Worth so much. Ugh. Flash trap. Let me just... Uh... Okay. Hold on. I've been using my neck pillow. Hey, ah, that's better. Keep my neck uh, secure. Oh, look at that. I successfully removed the trap. If I remember correctly, I think there's ogres in here, right? I think there's ogres in here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yep. I discovered the body of the messenger who penned the diary I've been carrying. Even though he died over a thousand years ago, the bones have been well preserved by the frost in the caves. He seems to be clutching something in his bony hand. I should investigate. Oh. Akaviri orders. Near the body of the messenger, I've discovered a slate tablet with what appears to be 
heck of your writing on its on its surface. These must be the orders the messenger spoke about in the diary. Damn. A thousand years old, huh? Okay, we're going in for an all-out assault. Damage health. Let's do restore agility, fatigue. Why not? Charge! Bring it on! Oh! Oh, you do a lot of damage. Oh no! Okay. We got him. <laughs> I will say that is very annoying every time I have to put away my weapon because I don't need it out. Then I have to... It just switches back to my hammer and then I have to put them that away. No. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, great. Take the first one. Nice. Oh, 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 Okay. So many of these chests. Okay, it, it is dark as shit in here. I cannot see. Worth a damn. Ouch. Oof. Okay. Oh god, I can't... I can barely speak. I've emerged from the Serpent's Trail to find myself face to face with the legendary Pale Pass. I, the path winds down into the Snowy Valley. If I follow it, it should lead me directly to the ruins. Okay. Okay. It is nighttime. I, I don't want it to be, so we're just gonna not have it be nighttime. And by the power of Grey Skull, we make it day. Okay, well, I see one of those fuckers over there. Can I hit you? That's the real question. 
Yeah. Yes. Dun 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 dun. Ah oh, shit. They're big boys. Look at that gut. <laughs> Alright. Let's save here. We made it this far. I don't want to get my skull caved in by a giant hairy fist. Yo, that one looks like it has a disease. Yeah, that one sure did. Jeez. God, is there another one? Punch him! Uh. Oh god. Of help would be greatly appreciated. Who are traps? All right. No. Enormous. All right. Let's continue forward. Uh, I gotta remember not to eat the freaking Nern root because I gotta bring it to what's his face and I think it's in. Not anvil. Uh, skin grad. There we go. Power of the pink arrows. Nice. Uh, some teamwork. Remember, this is the map like different in this area. Yeah. Oh boy. It's funny how they're so <laughs> massive yet they blend into the environment so well. Go, buddy. I got <laughs> two arrows left. My bloodthorn arrows.
Oh my god, really? Discharge, whoops. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, he nearly ended me there. Oof. Yikes. Damn. That was... That was close. I've discovered the crumbled walls of, of once... Of the once mighty Fort Pale Pass. It appears to have been destroyed by a landslide long ago. I should proceed into the ruins and search for the Madstone. The Draconian Madstone. Isn't there something under their water here? I can only imagine how freezing it is. Oh man. Yeah, here it is. This is the one I was thinking of. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. How? How do you hear me? <laughs> Oops. You guys okay? Alright, there we go. God, how many floors are there? Can I summon one like right on top of you? Well, I guess I gotta jump down myself. Oh! Jesus. He just backswiped me and took out like half my health. These guys do not joke around. Oh my gosh. Alright, come on. I can't tell you how many hours I've probably heard that same squelching, rotting, shambling, fleshy sound. And that's from the Gosh mod, everybody. Gorsh. Gecko. G Gecko's... Gosh. Yeah, Gorsh. I, f I forget the name of the mod. Gosh. Gecko's... Enhanced... I it's in, it's in the description. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I forgot the Akaveri skeletons. 
The ruins appear to be infested with undead Akaviri. I don't know how long they've been trapped here, but I should proceed with caution. I need to locate the Akaviri commander of the fort who is said to possess the draconian madstones. Oh god, these guys don't fuck around. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at those lights. Blue flame. That's right. Like, no. Oh god, it's so broken and disgusting. I love it. I want it. I'm keeping this. God, that's all I hear is just decrepit bones shambling. Bring it on. Bite me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oop. I'm going to need some backup. Oh, boy. Ugh. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Urgh. Oh no! I fell. Okay, hold on. Restore agility, restore endurance, restore fatigue. Get up! Oof, okay. Oh, that's, I never noticed that. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool, it has like a... Is that on the normal Akaviri shield? That's almost cooler than the normal one.